All right, this is Devon here with Little Mountain Outfitters, and today we are going to do some broadhead testing. Um, we got some deer shoulder blades we got set up back there in the shooting range, and we got uh, a couple of the more common broadheads here. We have the Swacker inch and three quarter. Um, we have the Grim Reaper Whitetail Special, that is a two inch cut broadhead as well. We have the Rage Extreme, that is a 2.3 inch cut. And we have the Rocket Meat Seeker uh, as well. So we're going to be shooting those all through some deer shoulder blades, see how they hold up. This is not a penetration test, this is just to see how they hold up coming out the other side. So the arrows we got here are the Easton Bow Hunter 6.5. Um, total weight with broadheads is around 440 grains. Um, the bow that we're going to be using is a 60 pound bear divergent, um, 27 inch draw, so probably about 275 feet per second. Nothing super fast, uh, but we're going to see what happens to these broadheads. So we're back here in our range. Uh, we thought we'd just show you what we got set up here. So we got four deer shoulder blades um, taped to a cardboard box. So we got cardboard on the back side, so we'll be able to see um, what these broadheads look like as they exit the um, shoulder blade. We'll be able to see how many blades are st still are left. Um, if they're open, we'll be able to see that cut in the cardboard. So we'll hopefully be able to know exactly what happens when they go through these shoulder blades, hoping to shoot them all at the same spot, and hopefully we can see which one holds up the best. All right, so that was fun. Um, so a quick rundown of how the broadheads fared. Um, this is the Meat Seeker by Rocket. Um, pretty good hole through there. Um, a smaller hole, um, but it did, both blades did open up. Perfect two blade cut on the cardboard coming out the back. As far as I'm concerned, this broadhead you could use again. Um, pretty much in perfect condition. The Grim Reaper here, same deal. Um, three perfect blade cuts through the shoulder through the cardboard in the back and was about an inch and a half deep into the plywood and beyond that. This broadhead uh, fared pretty well in my opinion. Um, I believe you could shoot this one again and all those blades lock right back into place. Good to go. Um, the next one we had here was the Rage and as you can see blades are, are fully opened um, but they look pretty much like a pretzel. Um, definitely would need to replace the blades Ferrell looks to be bent just a little bit as well, um, but it did have a perfect cut through the blade and a perfect two inch cut through the cardboard in the back as well. So that definitely would have killed a deer, just would have not been reusable. Um, and then Schwacker, same deal. Uh, we had, uh, this is a little smaller than some of the others, but it did open up. I didn't get a whole lot of cut going in, um, but the cardboard coming out the back has a perfect two blade cut. Um, so that would have done the job as well. So now I guess we're ready for the true test. We are gonna take the remaining three here um, and shoot them through these thicker beef shoulder blades that we have, probably about three times as thick as a deer shoulder blade. And uh, we'll see what is left of them after that. All right, so the shoulder blade here definitely was a little tougher for him. This is the Grim Reaper Whitetail Special three blade. It used to have three blades. Um, that very poor penetration broke two of the blades off. Third one is on here yet, but it did not go through that shoulder blade um, even at a point blank distance. Uh, just shut it down. This here is the um, Schwacker. That one went the whole way through. We'll show you a walk around the back there. This here is the Meat Seeker from Rocket. Continues to be the one I am impressed with. Blew right through there. Both blades opened up, you can see. And we will check and see what that looks like on the back side. And that's what we're looking at. 
totally through that beef shoulder blade, through the cardboard, perfect two blade cut out the other side, and sticking in the back stop. This here is the Schwacker. Um, didn't fare quite as well. Both blades are still intact. They're both bent, one's partially broken, but it did go through the shoulder blade, stuck out the other side. All right, so we thought while we're doing this, we're gonna run a couple fixed blades uh, through this other beef shoulder that we got. So we have uh, Montec 100 grain here. We have a DRT 100 grain. Um, and we have a Grim Reaper. It's called the Hades Pro. Uh, it's also 100 grain. So we're gonna see how these three hold up through the beef shoulder blade. So this here is the uh, Montec clean three blade hole. Broadhead is still in perfect condition. Shot through everything, also shot through the backstop. Uh, good solid broadhead, nothing's going to uh, really bend or break that one. This here is the um, Grim Reaper. Blades are just a little bent on the back, but pretty good penetration there as well. This here has probably had the least bit of penetration, it's the DRT. Um, also a little bigger of a broadhead as well, but blades held up fine, so I think you're good to be shooting through shoulder blades with that.